Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another video for you guys for the year of 2023 and I have some pretty big news. We are actually heading over to Virginia. Diego got transferred over there last minute and we are leaving sooner than expected but I am so excited and honestly more nervous than anything just because that's pretty far away. I mean being in Oklahoma and Missouri I felt like I was closer to Nebraska but this is like three to four states away so i'm really nervous about that but we're gonna get things ready here in the rv and we have to do a few things like wash clothes and buy some things and um then tomorrow is when we leave so so excited so hope you guys enjoy this video first video of 2023 getting everything ready for the RV um, we're almost done we just well I'm almost done inside we just still have to do the outside but yeah we're almost gonna hit the road we got some apples so, like every time we go on road trips and we have to drink like Red Bull or any type of energy drink we always feel sick at the end so like apples, keeping something in your stomach that's somewhat healthy, okay, is uh, the way to go. Yeah? Thankfully, we were able to finish up everything that we needed to do yesterday, like wash clothes and buy groceries. I ended up buying groceries just because I don't want to buy any snacks at the gas station just because that gets really expensive. So I'm going to try to avoid that. We pretty much packed up everything in the inside. We just have to finish up the outside. Diego right now went to go get some propane. Um, we just need one propane tank and we should be good. We ended up buying the propane tank here just so we don't have to deal with that over there. So it's a new area. We don't know where everything's at just so we don't we can just get there and hook up we ended up waking up a little bit later than expected we were supposed to wake up around seven we woke up around nine but we still have some playing time just because we're aiming to get there at, on sunday night so it, it, from here it's a 19 hour drive that's the longest i've ever driven but of course we're going to take breaks and sleep and take lunch breaks and all that so we have to account for that time that we'll be spending doing that <clears throat> but like I said in a previous clip, I am really nervous just because that is a whole nother part of the world that I've never explored or really heard about. So I'm just hoping for the best and you know, I'm just trying to keep in mind that every area has its crime rates, but it's going to be beautiful from what I've seen. Virginia is a beautiful state, so it's going to be fun. But yeah, we're going to pack up here and then we'll hit the road. We have been driving for about six hours now and we're stopping just so we can get some gas and eat some dinner but we still have like i think uh like a good maybe 15 hours left we are gonna stop around 11 we're gonna try to aim to um stop at 11 so we can sleep and then we'll start again in the morning We finally found a parking spot. We were struggling so much and it's like, we were gonna stop at 10, it is 12 o'clock. We could not find a gas station so we found this rest stop, but then the rest stop was full, like this full of semis. And we just ended up parking um, on some of the parking spots. We ended up taking just two of them with the truck and the RV. 
but we're only gonna be here for like four hours and then we're gonna hit the road again and uh, that was just kind of frustrating because we couldn't find parking and we're tired and just uh, i don't think i could have taken another energy drink <laughs> so i'm happy we found a spot we're gonna rest a bit and then we're gonna hit the road again so i'll see you guys in the morning it is currently raining oh my goodness jump off of this <sighs> but we slept pretty good And of course, there is a Bucky's in Tennessee, if you guys didn't know. So we stopped, we decided to stop so we can get some breakfast and see if there's a difference. I don't think there's a difference at all, but um, we're also gonna fuel up, get some breakfast, and see what it looks like. So I ended up getting a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant from Bucky's, and also some tater tots and a coffee. But I feel like the only difference about this Bucky's and Texas Bucky's is that it's less busy. I feel like in Texas, since it's just a Texan thing, it is really busy. Every gas station pump over there is full here. It's like slow, but I don't know if it's because it's the morning it's slow, but overall it's totally less like busy. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to say that, but it's just less busy here. We made a stop at the Welcome Center of Virginia, but we are finally in Virginia. We have five more hours to get to Yorktown. That's the town that we're staying at, but I just wanted to stop and take a picture with the sign. I still have to get Oklahoma and Texas stickers, but we have a Missouri one, and I went ahead and get the, got the Virginia one, so we're gonna put that on right now before I forget. So we only have four more hours to go, but we decided to call it a night just because it's getting dark and we want to get to the RV park when there's daylight so we can set everything up calmly and also just so, so we can familiarize ourselves with the area. So we decided to get to some Burger King and we're going to rest at a rest stop. And yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys it is the next morning and we actually had to hit the road a little bit earlier than we wanted to just because it started um raining or sleeting there you go so we just didn't want to get stuck in between that so we started driving and from where we rest from where we stopped we only had three hours left and right now we only have 50 minutes but we decided to get some breakfast before we go there oh yes i almost crashed <laughs> I almost crashed because I was trying to go into McDonald's and there was a semi cup semi car coming, semi truck coming. I didn't know what to do when I panicked and so I freaking stepped on the gas and just yeah, it wasn't it wasn't pretty, but yes, we're gonna get some breakfast and then we are about 15 minutes out, like I said. <clears throat> and hopefully the guy has not answered me from the RV park, but I'm pretty sure he'll be around there. So we will be there soon. I just want to mention that this RV park is not the one that we initially were going to stay at, but the other one, the guy wasn't answering me and just the area didn't seem safe, so we decided not to stay. And we found this one, which I love so much more just because it's safer and it's actually more beautiful. So it finally stopped raining and this rib, I think it's a pond honestly, was not full yesterday and it's pretty, pretty filled up right now. You guys can see the water level right there. But this is our view. It is so pretty. I just got back from Walmart but I want to show you guys what the RV park looks like in the daytime just because yesterday it was raining so much so I couldn't really film a lot but this is what it looks like. So here's the RV. You've got all of the other RVs on this side and also on the other side. Ellie just woke up, so she's taking her time stretching. We put our fire pit there and then we moved the table over here. The table was here, but so we can back up the truck. We moved it over here and then we placed the firewood that we brought from Oklahoma there. But it's so peaceful here. And then, like I said, I just got back from Walmart, but 
the view from inside of the RV. Ignore my my dying plant, but this is what the view inside of the RV looks like. <laughs> 